What is up, everybody? This is David Tress from theloveofplay.com, and who boy, guys, did we leave on a sad note, leave off on a sad note last episode uh, of Among the Sleep, which is what we are currently playing right now, um, and I, I kind of bet that we're going to be wrapping it up uh, in this episode. It sort of seemed like there was a big, a big upset. Um, teddy bear was taken from us yanked from our very arms you know he uh some monster grabbed hold of him pulled tight and uh, i was holding on to his arm but he his it, it tore as a teddy bear you know he's not the he's not the toughest teddy bear in the world and he was already a little ragged and his arm just popped right off which is a, you know a sad thing um but you know what? I bet we can get him. We can get him and our mom right now. So that is that is what we will try to do. Um, and I hope we can achieve it, guys. Because the alternative would be very sad for us. <sighs> okay. Oh. Okay, so there's Teddy Bear's arm. Can pick that up. Uh, and we're standing. Oh, jeez. Um. Okay, so there's some spotlights that are turning on. This feels very surreal. So I, I'm assuming that this is some sort of a dream. Um. Okay, so that's our mom. More memories of mom. Oh geez, and that is our literal mom. Uh, not now, hun. She's so maybe this is like hearkening back to the separation anxiety stuff that we. Oh geez, okay. So uh, the mom just turned into that monster that we saw early on. So maybe that is sort of the version of her when she gets upset. She becomes that creature in in her mind. Oh wow! Oh jeez. Huh. Okay. Uh. Just one more. Oh, so maybe this is like a substance abuse thing. Was I think that was an, a man? Maybe your father? Oh, okay. Huh. Okay. So this just took a really dark turn. I've been like talking throughout the whole let's play about this being grounded in reality, but never did it really occur to me that. Um. It could be grounded in something as grim as substance abuse and sort of a child's experience with their guardian. Uh, she said just one more, which is, you know, alcoholism uh, sort of verbiage. Um, so, yeah, huh. I did, I did not expect it to be this grim. Uh, and we're back at our playhouse now. Um... Huh. I'm interested to see how this will pan out. So, okay, so, go, like, now I'm working through my memories, uh, you know, uh, of things that happened in the game that might have sort of, uh, that might clarify now what I know, what I know now, um, is, so that scene early on when you're having your cake, someone stops by the door, <coughs> excuse me, um, and there's that effect that happens when you see the monster, or, or I guess when it's linked to your mother's anger or, you know, her being drunk. Um, uh, so so maybe that was your father or some other, you know, a relative or someone who wants to take you. And you sort of perceive that as a negative thing, but you're a child, so you weren't totally privy to what was going on. Um... 
What do I do here? Uh. Um, so I put all of the trinkets in there, and it's not opening, so, um, oh yeah, this thing, um, oh yeah, teddy bear has to touch it, there we go, so now we can get through this, hopefully. But yeah, um, that is, it is sort of surprising to, um, that, that, yeah, that I, I, <laughs> I'm sort of, like, trying to work through my thoughts about, or, or maybe it's not even that, I, I don't know, it seemed pretty clear that that was the language she was using, um, I don't know if they'll explain it any further beyond that, though, what we, the explanation that we've got so far, um, but that's, yeah, that's pretty grim, I didn't know that the game would go, get that serious, get that adult, you know, um, because the game could have very easily sort of just hinged itself upon, uh, you know, child, irrational child fears, you know, separation anxiety, fear of the dark, uh, fear of the unknown, all these things, but if it, if it really is, like, your guardian is abusing alcohol, that's, that is something else entirely, uh, and a lot darker, um, oh, it looks like we're running... It's like all the stuff from that we were collecting. Oh, whoa, 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 that's a bottle. Oh, okay. So, there's a bottle on the floor. Uh, and, you know, but, and like going back to the skid marks and the fact that everything is in disarray, this sort of makes sense if your parent is, you know, an alcoholic. Oh, and there's the key from earlier on in the game. Uh, so yeah, it looks like we're sort of, this is a walk down memory lane, and, huh, but yeah, okay, there's more booze on the desk, you know, blinds drawn shut, huh, oh, shit, okay, yeah, wow, so they're just gonna straight up tell us, yeah, your mom is, an alcoholic. Um, wow. Yeah, that is pretty dark. I did not, <laughs> I did not imagine that this game would get that dark. Huh. Huh. Wow. Whew, this is pretty heavy stuff. Ah, uh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of just in, I'm, I'm kind of shocked that they went this far. Um, oh. Uh, looks like maybe your guardian. Your, or your other guardian, your guardian, your father, I assume. Hi there, little one, come here. Okay, so now, thinking back on the tattered state of the teddy bear, um, this th that must have been sort of a long history of substance abuse. Now, now what I'm thinking, though, is that instead of just a single night, that was probably representative of the child's entire memory uh, of living with uh, a guardian that was abusing alcohol. Huh, that was interesting. I might actually write about uh, this game and review it in, in some form, but uh, thank you, everyone, for, you know, hanging out with me and playing through this game. I super appreciate it. Uh, and, yeah, I will uh, I will see you all next time. This, this is part of a playlist, so if you're just catching this end of the game, just at the end of it, you can go back and watch uh, the rest of it. Um, Otherwise, uh, yeah, uh, you can go and check out some other stuff that we're doing on the site. Um, okay, take care, everyone. Bye.